Well, uh, we have a question here. Uh, the question says solve for x. We do question 1.1. It says solve for x. And uh, question 1.1.1 um, uh, says, I'm right here. X open brackets x minus seven or equal to zero. Now we need to solve for x. Okay. Um, we already have a product here. Okay, let's solve the question. We have a product here x x minus seven equal to zero. It is of the form like uh, a times b equals zero because in mathematics uh, the product a times b equal to zero implies that a equal to zero or B equal to zero. So we're going to set X, um, we're going to set X equal to zero or, or X minus seven equal to zero. So now X minus seven equal to zero means that X is equal to seven. This is, is, this is the shortest way of solving this. Someone else can expand the solution and then um, use quadratic formulas to solve this, but it's not something that we're gonna do here. Uh, now we're going to do question 1.1.2. Uh, the question says, okay, this was there. The question says, uh, I'll write the questions over here. 1.1.2, x squared minus six x plus two equal to zero. Correct to two decimal places. All right, let me give you a hint. Whenever you see uh, the, the statement correct to certain decimal places or leave your answer in the same form, understand that uh, you have to, uh, you do not have to factorize, okay? You cannot factorize because the equation is not factorizable. Uh, you either use the quadratic equation or, or use the complex of the square method to solve the equation. So here, notes, don't factorize. So uh, if I use the quadratic equation, let's say uh, quadratic equation, okay? The quadratic, the quadratic equation formula. This is given by um, uh, x equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus four ac all over 2a, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna move my, my board this way, so because of space. Uh, this is, uh, the quadratic equation is given by this. What, because the quadratic, uh, I mean, this is the quadratic formula. You call the quadratic equation itself is ax squared plus bx plus equal to zero. Now, uh, we can solve for x, by substituting the values of B, A, B, and C. Okay, we can see from the equation that, uh, that's the equation that is um, uh, x squared minus six x plus two equal to zero. This implies that A equal to one, B equal to negative six, because you need to take the, the, the values of A, B, C together with the sign, C is equal to two. Okay, I say A is one because uh, if one you don't see any number in front of the x squared, understand that it is one. So A is the coefficient of x squared, B the coefficient of x, C is the constant term. So in case here, in this, in this case, A equal one, B is negative six, and then C is equal to positive two. Now we're going to substitute this in the quadratic formula. So it's gonna be negative B plus minus square root of b squared minus four a c all over two a. I'm gonna sum in the values of uh, a is one. I mean, b is a uh, negative six. Uh, so uh, okay, I use negative b, negative six, square root of b squared. I sum in the, the value of b, negative six, uh, minus four a, a is one, C is two, over two A, A is one. Now this will be, X will be equal to six, 
yes, man, the spirit of okay, we don't we don't really need to work it out. We can just substitute, we can uh, uh work it out in the calculator. Uh, I already have the correct proof. Um in the calculator here, I can just uh, move up there and then uh, sub in the values of uh, B is negative six. Uh, plus, I cannot put plus, plus or minus, I can just put uh, plus and then minus afterwards. Minus six, B squared minus four A, C is two over two A, two times one, as we can see there. And if we press equal, we have um, X will be equal to plus minus three, excuse me. It's three plus minus root seven, okay? So there are two solutions here. One with the positive, X is equal to three plus root seven. And then X is equal to three minus root seven. Okay, now, I'm going to, because we want the solution to certain decimal places, you press SD, you look there, 5.645783. Because I say second decimal place, we are supposed to look at the third decimal place. If the third decimal number is uh, 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 five or more than five, then we're going to increase the second decimal place by one unit. If it's not, we just drop all the, uh, the, the values uh, after, after the second decimal place. In this case, when I look at the third decimal place, it is five. This is five, so we will increase four by one. So therefore, X will be equal to five points uh, 64, all right? Yes, I mean 65, because four will increase by one. And then over here, we can just uh, uh, change. Uh, change the positive here by negative, okay? Uh, this is... zero point uh, to the second decimal place. We look at the third decimal value, which is four. So we're gonna drop the rest of uh, the digits. So just 0 0.35. So that's, uh, uh, the, those are the solutions. X is equal to. Okay, or someone else can solve the same problem by completing the screen. If lack, uh, let's see, by completing the screen. <coughs> completing the square. Because we have uh, x squared uh, minus six x plus two, we're going to, by completing the square, it means we need to write it in the formula, ax plus b in the bracket, something like that, okay? It's when we find the c value, we make the c value equal to uh, b over two to the power of two. This is possible only uh, one uh, a, is, a has the value of one. So in case we have equation where a is not equal to one, a, which is the coefficient of x squared, is different, to the, different than one, then we need to make it equal to one, meaning we're going to divide the whole equation by, by the coefficient of x squared. But luckily in this question, we only have like the coefficient of x squared is, is one. So in this situation, we're going to to move the two over, okay, it becomes negative two. And then I'm gonna work out the value of C then. C will be equal to uh, B, which is negative six over two to the power of two, which is equal to uh, 
uh, 36 over 4. And then I'm going to add that value here because this is the C, the C value is the value that will make the left hand side of the equation a perfect square. So I'm going to add uh, negative 6 over 2 to the power of 2. So because I added it on the left hand side, I must also add it on the right hand side. I wanted to write negative 6 over 2 to the power of 2, but I just going to write its value 36 over 4. Okay. Then this means. At the moment that we completed, we find the C value, we don't need to, we can just take the basis, okay? The basis, the basis of, uh, of this term, the, the first and the last term. So we're gonna write it in the brackets. This would make X uh, minus six over two to the power of two equal to uh, negative two. 36 over four can be simplified Okay, this is equal to nine, right? Now, usually I get the question, like, why did the, six, the negative six X, why did, why is, why, why, why did the negative six X go? Okay, where did it go? The negative six X is still here in the brackets. If we expand this bracket, we will uh, retrieve, okay, the negative six X. I leave that one for you to exercise to check, to check it. So work it out, you will see, you find a negative six X. Similarly, over here, we can also simplify. This is like X minus three to the power of two equal to seven. Now, if I need to find the value of X, I send my square roots in both sides, okay? Why? Because the square roots will cancel the power of two. And then I'm left with X uh, minus three equal to plus minus seven, the square root of seven. Important. Okay, then uh, remember that whenever we square root uh, within an equation, we need to put plus or minus, okay, on this, uh, uh, this side. Sometimes I usually explain why. Look, check this out. If I ask you, like, uh, what is a uh, uh, four squared? You tell me, if I ask you what is a uh, four squared, you tell me this is equal to 16. If I say negative four squared, this is also equal to 16. If you doubt, you can check, double check this the calculator type the way I did, you see, they're both equal to 16. Meaning somehow square root of 16 can generate two solutions, two solutions, the positive, the positive four and the negative four. So over here, when we square root within an equation, always puts the plus or minus simple in front of uh, the root. So we can move the negative three over. That means X is equal to three plus minus root seven. This is the very answer we get previously. Here we have like X is equal to three plus root seven, which is uh, 5.65 to the second decimal place. Over here, X is equal to three minus root seven which is x is equal to 0 0.35 to the second decimal, please. Thank you.